Bobby, the Asian comedian. How do I change my mindset to focus on what I have versus don't have? You have to be the one that believes in yourself more than anyone else. Send me off to India. Bloody hell, that's stupidly, weirdly deep. What a beautiful morning for 88 ounces of ganache-infused peppermint limeade. Oh, that sounds nice. I gotta be honest with you, not like mentally in a great place today. And I need to overcome that. I need to, let's, so when I get home, I'm gonna write things down and I'm gonna figure that out because it is unacceptable to be feeling that way when there's really no reason to be feeling that way. But I actually saw this video this morning, which I'm gonna watch again right now while I'm in traffic here because it was really, really good. Here it is, okay. If you keep obsessing about your lack, your lack of finances, your lack of time, your lack of energy, lack, 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 and, and those thoughts- I don't have this, I, I don't need know, this, What, what are this. the chemicals you're feeding your body? You're taking thought. It's producing a frequency, and that frequency in the form of chemistry is storing that thought emotionally right in your second center. You feel guilty, you feel unhappy. The moment you feel unhappy, then you generate more thoughts equal to that feeling, which makes more chemicals, and you keep taking energy from the brain and storing it in the body. If you react to people in your life, and you feel anger, frustration, whether it's traffic, the news, whatever it is, Parents, your parents, girl, whatever, girl, what, you're drawing from this field, this electromagnetic field, you're tapping that resource and you're making chemistry out of it and the field shrinks. So now, by doing that and living in survival, the body no longer is a magnet. So now you have very little energy in the brain. In fact, 5% of the energy is in the brain and 95% is stored in the body. Now the body's been conditioned emotionally. It's kind of what I was talking about the other day that you can control your emotions with the chemicals that pass through your body and you can control those chemicals. And it makes, I've been saying it for so long, like I, I just need to get ahead or I just need this and then I'll be in this spot. What's wrong with where I am right now? Where I am right now is what I've worked eight years for. and I'm not happy about it, why am I not happy about it? Am I not happy about it because I expect more from myself? Or is it that I haven't learned to be happy with, what, with where I am, what I have? How do I be happy with what I have? With all the stuff that I've worked so hard for? I don't know. I don't know. I think I make a list of all the good things in life, the things that I wish for, and I compare them and see like how does the priority sit? Are those things really going to make me happy? And if I think they are, why is that? And I think that'll help me understand and prioritize the things that make me happy versus the things I think will make me happy. Yeah. I mean, if you were to go back and watch, I mean, I think we're on day 40 now. If you were to go back and watch all other 39 days, I think you will see actually, there's probably a trend that I'm constantly pushing for more than what I have. Is that because I think I should have more than what I have? I think I deserve more than what I have? I think it's because I don't know how to be happy and content with what I have. And so I always push for more thinking that's what's gonna make me happy. 
Bloody hell. Bit deep, isn't it, for a Friday morning? Pod vlog, pod vlog quickie. Yeah, I don't have any other notes that I've made <laughs> to discuss right now. Let's, let's go home and go through this. I think this will be a good exercise for me. And it's hot as hell in here, jinkies. Ooh. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I've been stood here for the past probably three to five minutes trying to figure out how do I do this uh, that's like useful for you to watch and it's just stopping me from doing it. So um, if you wanna do this with me, then let's um, bumble through it. <laughs> All right, I, I think, obviously, let's get this out of the way. My... My thought, I, I guess this is like, for a lot of things in life, uh, where do I start with this? This idea that when, when we're watching content, everything should be thought out. No, I don't know if it's that. I think we come in to watch videos expecting everything to be thought through, right? But like it's not a thought to us. We don't think. We don't think I'm glad this person's thought this through to begin with. We just expect that they've thought it through. Do you see where I'm going? I don't know where I'm going. I think I know where I'm going actually. I think what I'm saying is, everything we see online these days, and this isn't a gripe at it, is curated. It's like, if imagine you were going to try and do this process of figuring out all the things you have in your life, what's going well, what's not, and why isn't it going well? Where do you start? Like, you wouldn't just know exactly where to start, would you? And so, welcome to me. <laughs> I don't know where to start. But I think, that I think I do a list of good, or could, <laughs> good, why, bad, why? And then I start using just cards to... So let's just, let's just write down things and then we'll order them out. Okay, so let's get loads of these up and hopefully I can fill them in. Um, YouTube. Socials. Automation. TikTok. Uh, let's say partnership one. Partnership two. Let's say revenue. What else is there? What other things do we have where I should question if it's going good or not? Um, let's do life as well. Marriage. Being a dad. Health. Um, learning. else is good or bad. I think health would be physical health. Let's do physical. Mental. Health. What else do we have? Um... Let's, let's do these first, because I don't have, I don't know the extensive list. So the socials automation, I'd say it's good. 
Uh, let's, I guess let's move these. Uh, no. Let's do these one by one. Why is the socials automation good? Because, it, because it's live, but expensive. All right, next one, TikTok. I actually will say that's bad because I'm not productive as I want to be. YouTube. Let's just, let's say, is it in a bad spot? Yes. Few viewers, but enjoying making. Right, okay. Um, and then I think we can narrow this down into things that I can control versus can't. Marriage, I would say is good. Uh, communicate. Well, but want to provide more. Being a dad, I mean, is so good. I don't, I, I think, I don't know if there was much I would change there. Like I want to spend more time with him. Honestly, I don't, I think that's one of, because that's my highest priority in life at the moment. Would I want to change anything there? Why, okay, why is it good? Why is it good? Oh my goodness. Asking yourself that question. I think dedicating time to him and loving watching him grow and learn. Let's say we've also got in here finances in terms of like taxes and stuff. Uh, we've got the financial advisor, that's all like in the, uh, so I'd say in progress. That's a good thing to me. Physical health, uh, eating, well, working out, but want to, I want to work out more focused. That doesn't make much sense, but I, I get the idea. Learning, I'm not really doing much learning at the moment, am I? Not dedicating enough time. the time I'd like. Revenue. This is a tough one because like at the moment, it's fine. And I knew I'd get into this position and know that I'd be fine. Like because I'd been doing it alongside my job for so long. But Am I, f no, I'm not, I'm not fine with money, am I? Because I'm like, I'm, I'm wanting up to 10K. Let's say not at 10K monthly. 
I know that seems nuts, right? Like, so after taxes and insurance and all that kind of stuff, we need about 5,000 a month to survive. Survive, to maintain our lifestyle. So like, it's good because making enough money to maintain the lifestyle, but I'm not at the place I want to be, which is gonna give me that financial, which I, which I think is gonna give me that financial freedom enough that I don't have to constantly be thinking about what I'm doing to make more money. I'm gonna make another one here for partnerships in general. It's bad. Not getting Like, is it the fact that I'm not getting what I expect or that I'm overvaluing uh, what I can offer? You know, I, I think that's a bad way to think of uh, if I think of the perspective that I'm overvaluing what I'm offering. Because that means I undervalue myself, and I don't undervalue myself. I think I'm, I think I'm very good at what I do. Could I be better? Yes. But I think you have to be the one that believes in yourself more than anyone else. And if you don't, then you need to significantly change something. And I think I'm doing a lot of things right. And I'm proud of the things that I'm doing, the decisions I'm making. Not getting what I expect. Let's, let's just put it like that. Partnership. One, I think the, these are two things that I'm gonna put as bad, and I wouldn't normally break it down this small, I don't think, because these come and go, but like, that's bad because waiting on confirmation. And I think also waiting on confirmation. And that's bad because I feel like these two link back into revenue. Like one of these more than covers me for what I need here. And I, I, think, I think this is more of... Actually, you know what this is? Focusing too much. Right, so I'm starting, I'm trying to think about these things in terms of not just the situation, but what can I do in the situation? I think it's that stoic belief of you change what you can and what you can't, you just don't worry about. In my opinion, all of these things here, I have control over. Like mental health, I think I'm always oh, bad because I'm focusing on what I don't have. Focusing on what I don't have instead of do have. And I think money is a huge part of that. I think I'm, I'm still in this mindset of, oh crap, I don't have this consistent income coming in every month from my full-time job. What am I gonna do? But I've already done all the work to make sure that this can, that this can happen. And it's funny how actually all of these, you know, obviously including this too, but all of these boil down to this, that I'm focusing on what I don't have instead of what I do have. So how do I focus? How do I change my mindset to focus on what I have versus don't have? 
Should we try and turn, what do I need to do to turn these into a positive? How do I turn TikTok into a positive? My immediate thought is that I, hmm. You know, I also think I'm not productive as I want to. Uh. I also have my view count concern. Here's the thing, with every video I put out, I have this fear that I'm gonna drop my average views, which reduces my income, which then feeds into the revenue, which feeds into my mental health. I, I think here is, here's where I would really like to be, and how do I flip this around? I would really like to be in a place where these vlogs are covering my monthly expenses so that I can go back to the thing that I really enjoy, which is making videos on TikTok, and I end up there just making videos because I really enjoy them. And I give myself the freedom to learn because I'm not, aside from just being introspective and thinking about my own thought, I'm not spending any time learning. Like in the mornings, I used to read for 30 minutes, wake up, take the dogs out, read, and then go to the gym. But now, taking the dogs out, editing, gym, and then I'm into work for the day. Alrighty. So let me move these out of the way and then we're gonna go on the next step. Um, I'm gonna call this get to green. Now essentially get to green means what do I need to do to get this to a good, to make this a good thing in my life. So TikTok, I'm not as productive as I want to be. What do I change there? Do I change that? I make a plan. I, f I feel like the answer to this is make a plan. So like Monday, I plan the video and then I shoot it the same day. Yeah, I, I think that's what I have to do. I have to make a plan and stick to it. Slash schedule. And stick to I, de I also I need to improve my handwriting because this is absolute garbage. Um, what can I do? What can I control to make YouTube better? I don't want to focus on thumbnails. I don't want to focus on SEO. I don't want to focus on optimizing the video. I want the video on YouTube to be as it is. So let's say for right now, I have my marketing plan. Let's not change it. Let's follow that through. Um, let's do document. Document marketing plan. Uh, week to or weekly over four weeks. Right, and let's let's see 
how the socials automation is helping us in terms of viewership, right? Right, because I'm actively doing the thing that will change this from bad to good. And I just need to follow that through. So I need to keep carrying it out. Okay. Things that I'm learning on about. Honestly, I think right now that learning is a nice to have. Like when, if I think about priority of things in life, I think taking time to learn new things is not something that's necessarily needed to keep going with the things that I'm successfully doing right now. Like TikTok, for example, I like reading books about storytelling but my storytelling, I would say, like I think is in a pretty, is, is, in a, is in a very good place on TikTok and it's getting the views that I want. Or like get it, not views that I want, like it's getting way more views than I would have expected to have. So I think what I do now is I need to decide on this. Um, dedicate time once a week or this is a <laughs> that's a software engineering term for or but oh my gosh dude is it oh, gosh me it's been a long time since I ever would have used that Dedicate time once a week or pause until 10, 10K monthly. Right, like I, I just, I just, as much as I want to learn, I don't know if it's the highest priority. Oh, let's do. GPTs, that's another one. All right, revenue, I'm not at 10K monthly. How do I increase my revenue? This is the thing that I, I have been back and forth on a lot. And I, I've actively made a decision that I could make, and this probably sounds douchey as well, I could make a couple of extra grand a month doing uh, some of the other things that I've thought about doing, but none of those take me toward my goal of being able to make TikToks, make these short form stories for fun. Like th those are just kind of like, they get me money in the door just because I know how to do it. So I don't want to do those. How do I generate 10K monthly? Let me just make notes. Brand deals, more TikToks. Continue YouTube plan. All right. Yeah, if I get more brand deals on TikTok, that would be great. That would more than cover me. But the problem is I then have to dedicate time to reaching out to these brands if my manager's not bringing them in. And then again, those are only one-off things. Like it's crazy because one brand deal at this, at this point of my TikTok, where my TikTok's at, one brand deal could set me for a month easily. 
but then that's just for that month, unless you know it's recurring month over month. So I'm looking at those as short term. Are they perhaps, you know, mid term too? Like you know, to pick up six month contracts. I don't know actually because in the last two years I haven't had a single one that's been a, you know, not even a lick, not a single thought of let's do this, let's have a contract for the next six months, you know, like one video a month. So I think that would be unrealistic of me to try and go for immediately. So not, let's not focus on brand deals. More TikToks, yeah, I think that could feed in, but I don't wanna put the pressure on this. So we'll say like a, a maybe. But I think the main one here to where I want to be is that the vlog will cover, you know, the monthly need. I continue the YouTube plan and I, maybe that's where I need to do a bit of research. Like at the moment, it's, I'm thinking it's just a case of pumping out more content across the social media platforms. But po possibly, it's that I just need to continue, or do I need to research other ways? Like at the moment, it's just clips. But what if I make compilations? Um, YouTube clip compilations. Maybe. All right, partnerships, not getting what I expect. How do I? What if it's define sales pitch? Like, so I work with my manager to help define what a sales pitch actually looks like. I mean, he's a, he's a salesman by profession and then he's moved into this talent management role. And so I'm sure he has a lot more experience in the sales world than I do. How do I give him more information so that he's armed with more information to better sell my content? Partnerships one, there's, there's really, oh yeah, what should I do to control this? I sh should I ignore it? Ignore. Focus elsewhere. I'll tell you what, for this partnership, Uh, I don't know if I can give you the exact numbers, but it's just shy of five figures, right? And my manager would take 20% off of that. So let's just say for round numbers, we'll call it 10K. If that comes through at 10K, that money goes straight to my manager's company. They then take their 20%. So they take 2K and there's 8K left. 8K then gets sent to my account. Part of that 8K goes to pay taxes and whatever else. And then I'm left with that. So let's say I paid 20% taxes. It's more than that. But that then leaves me with a uh, 1600 leaves me with $6,400. So 6400 down from 10K actually hurt. That's crazy. That's like, I'm, it feels like losing $3,600 along the way for the negotiation process. That's not, you know, the reality, but that's how it feels. I think I just need to not, like, that's why I've hired a manager is to be able to deal with all of this so that I'm not thinking about it. So I need to not think about these. So let's just put ignore.
right? Not my priority. That's not, this isn't my job to get those in. I've done the work with TikTok and now it's time for someone else to do their work to get those to the finish line. Um, no, ignore shouldn't be the thing, right? Because um, I won't say what I was going to say because I don't think that's right to share to anyone but myself and my manager. So actually I should just monitor. Oh my gosh. Monitor, but don't focus on. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but to me that does make sense. <laughs> Mental health. The problem, the reason why it's not in a great space is because I've been focusing on what I don't have instead of what I do have. So my mental health, let's focus on the fact that I am doing what I love. Uh, healthy. Family. Right, I like making TikToks. I'm healthy. My family are healthy. Uh, my family seem in good spirits. Um, you know, food, house. I don't see. This is the, this is the ridiculous thing: is that my mental health should not be anything but. Fantastic. Or is that what I'm telling myself because that's what I see on social media? Like, I think it's okay. I think it's acceptable to have these things that aren't going well and want them to go well. But I think it's unacceptable to not look at those things and think about what you can do to improve them. Otherwise, you're just a victim. So how do I, so I need to focus on doing the fact that I am doing what I love. I'm healthy, I'm family, food, house. Stop thinking about money. That's right, um, because it, I don't need to think about money. I can literally ignore thinking about money if I, I'm doing the TikToks, if I'm doing my marketing plan. Yes. Don't, uh, no, this is let, accountant focus on money, which is why we're paying them. Let, I don't know what the short is for accountant, deal with, I don't actually know the guy's name, but Bobby, the Asian comedian, I saw a video recently, he's like, I don't, I have no idea how much money I make, I have no idea how much money I have. I let my accountant deal with it and I tell him or her, I don't want to know about any of that because I don't want to, I don't want my life to revolve around money. And it, the first thought was how ignorant, like how stupid could you be? And then my next thought was that makes so much sense. I mean, like in my position right now where I'm thinking about money so much, what if you just, it's an extremely privileged place to be in, but what if you just take money out the equation and start focusing on the things that you really want to be doing. Now you can only do that once you've really, you know, you've put in the hard work and the graph to get yourself into a position. This, that's flipping mental, isn't it? I've just realized now, you, people think that someone talking about financial independence and, and saying, don't think about money, people looking at it and saying, oh, they're so out of touch, they have no idea what's going on. 
you don't friggin' understand the work that they've put in to get themselves to that place. They have made decision after decision after decision to get themselves to a place. Like they, this is probably what they've done to get themselves to a place where they don't have to think about money. They have prioritized everything else to get them to that place so that they don't have to focus on money. But like you and I, because we're never, when we haven't been in that place, we may not see ourselves being in that place. We just can't fathom. We can't understand how that is a real thought. We just think about on the fact that we've got returns on Amazon because we may not make the, the check at the end of the month. We don't know where our next you know, amount of money is coming from. Can I go eat out to eat tonight or can I go and get takeout because I can't, I really can't be bothered to cook and I have to go to the store and get food but I don't have time because I'm exhausted. Why do we hate the people that have done something in their life to get them to a better place and then just think they're out of touch. They're out of touch because they've chosen to put themselves in touch with a different reality. Bloody hell, that's stupidly, weirdly deep. But I like, I, I agree with it. <laughs> Chat GPTs, yeah, I want to make these, but I think this goes into the learning. What if the learning and the GPTs, like side projects, only get time dedicated to them if I've carried out TikTok and YouTube? Yes, let's do that. Dedicate uh, as a reward for TikTok and YouTube. I like this a lot. This is a good idea. Now, I've changed these things that I feel bad about and found ways that I can uh, make them better, things that I can control. Now I just have to do them. <laughs> Yeah, I honest, honestly, I don't really know. I think plan A is to make my plan and schedule and then stick to it for TikTok, right? Like define what two videos, I'm, yeah, let's start with two videos a week. What two videos am I gonna make that week? What are the concept? Maybe plan them out. And then, you know, Tuesday, you go and shoot one and try and edit it that day as well as Wednesday. Thursday, go and shoot and edit that day as well as Friday. Right? Let's start, let's start doing that. I, I did this before and actually deleted everything from my sprint yesterday. Let, let's start doing that. I've realized that I I think, I feel like I think differently to a lot of people. So when there's an old, some kind of altercation, you have the thing, the, the altercation, like let's say, I don't know, you didn't clean the dishes, but you were meant to clean the dishes. Like your wife told you to clean the dishes, but you didn't. That's not the real thing. So there's that and you're like, Okay, well, that's, that's annoying. You should have cleaned the dishes, blah, blah, blah. But actually, under that, there's this whole other reservoir, I'm going to call it, that's the reason why, like, this happened. So in this case, that would be that, let's say, the guy does not respect his wife enough to do the, something that she asked him to do. Or perhaps the guy feels like that's her job and she should be doing it because he does something else. Or... She could do it, she's just being lazy. And so the guy's like, yeah, I'm not doing that. Like, she's got time, she could do it. So what you actually have to deal with is this reservoir underneath rather than just this, because this is the thing that reveals the reservoir underneath. But I don't think many people realize that there is this big 
reservoir underneath. They think they solve the issue on top, and that's that. Um, that's actually, it's been a big learning point for my wife and I on that, because to her, when something happens, it should be a quick conversation. Talk about it, deal with it, it's done. But to me, it's about dealing with that reservoir underneath. But because of the way she thinks, she's not she's not seeing that reservoir. And it's taken a lot between her and I to come to the agreement that actually everything is not surface level. There's a lot that goes on below that really is what needs to be solved. And I've had some other conversations today where it's apparent that I think that way, but the other person doesn't. You know, for, for better or worse. Um, it's that kind of realization that not everyone thinks the same. And, you know, where for me, it's hyper important that it gets resolved at its, you know, reservoir level. For the other person, they don't understand. They're like, oh, this is a quick thing to deal with. What the hell are you going into everything else for? That has been a crazy learning that I've just had. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to finish this off. It should only take me about five, ten minutes. Just lots of bloody clicking. And then I, I have my plan for how we get... I have my plan for how we plan my schedules for TikToks and whatnot. Also, we just secured a big deal that turnaround for it is insane. Like the product's being got shipped less than an hour ago and is going to be here in a few hours and they want to go live with it early next week. So probably going to have to get the missus a spa day because I might have to work over one of the days on the weekend. And, um, but I normally, if I work on the weekend, I'll take a day in the week and split that. So it's, I don't think it's fair. So yeah, I'll do that, but I'll, I'll be right back as I finish this. While, um, hang on. All right, while I do this, I thought I should explain something that I really highly value in my marriage that I didn't think just wasn't something on my mind before we got married, was the ability to, for her and I, her and I to communicate our thoughts. So like, if she's having a problem or I'm having a problem, not between us, but something else, then we can have that conversation between us in terms of like, you be the person who's less invested in what I'm discussing <laughs> so that you can help ground me. And obviously the same when, you know, it, when she has something like that. But being able to do that with each other, to bounce that off, I think is very underrated. Like I never see people talking about that. All right, I did this a while back, trying to plan out what I need to do for my TikTok. So, I do, yeah, I'll take you out in literally a few minutes. I know that for a TikTok, I need to come up with the concept. I need to plan. I may need to get, um, what's it called? Like props. A props. A prop is something I'm thinking like, let's say for the, sh the no poo, the no shampoo series, I wanted a, a lock box so I could lock my shampoo away, uh, which kind of added to the dramatic effect. So I need to think about that in advance. So think of the concept, plan it out. What props do I need? Then we've got shoot, edit, post. All right, so if we've got Monday, surprisingly, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then, and we want to do two videos. So we've got two of these, oh, you get it, we've got two of those to do. <laughs> then like, let's say Monday, you do concept one, and you come up with concept two. Let's say Monday is also plan one, plan two, props, one, props, two. 
and then like let's say you shoot one on Tuesday you might be able to edit one what have I done with the spacing here flipping absolute donkey Like I'm thinking the reason I want to do concepts at the same time is because uh, your mind is flowing, you're in that creative space. The planning, I think you also need to be in that creative space. And I think the planning and the props go hand in hand. So if you take a day to plan out the videos for the week, Tuesday you shoot one, edit one, and then on Wednesday you post one. So then you also shoot two, edit two, and then you would post two, right? And that covers everything here. Now, I think the idea of having Wednesday as nothing there at the moment, I highly, highly imagine that the shoot and the edit will bleed into Wednesday because then the post won't go live until like one o'clock. And so if I'm editing that morning, which I don't really want to be, but if I am, then it means I'll have the afternoon to do some of this and that will bleed into Thursday. And perhaps, you know how I really wanted to do some like learning stuff? Perhaps Friday becomes that. And I think that's my process. Now, annoyingly, I'm not sure it's gonna work this coming week because of, well, I'll tell you what, if I just skip this forward because I know I'm gonna to have to work at weekend, this shifts to probably tomorrow actually. And then edit and shoot comes into Sunday if needed. Hmm. I'll have a think about how to do that this weekend, but I think maybe I'll just do one video. I've already got the concept, or so I'll just plan, see if there's any props I need tomorrow morning, and then I'll shoot and edit it in the day, send it over, and then maybe they can review it to post Tuesday or Wednesday. And if I get it done over the weekend, that means I could maybe take Monday or Tuesday to hang out with Shay and Rugi, and I can begin working on the second one. I like that a lot. All right. Well, it's Friday. We're going to go off to some nice little event tonight. Nice to close a deal before the weekend. Um, oh, one thing on that. When I tell you that closing a deal on a video on a single TikTok that is about five uh, figures, I want you to, to like, when people think about this, they think, oh my gosh, you get paid that much money for all you're doing is making a TikTok. What you don't see is the seven and a half years of work behind me that get me to where I am now. Like I'm not just, I don't just have a TikTok. Like you've spent all this time learning and building something to then have this opportunity for this to come and slot into. So really, if you were to look at how much I would be paid per hour for all the work I've put in, I don't know, maybe send me off to India probably about their wages over there. <laughs> okay, well, you'll be watching this Monday, so I hope you had a good weekend. Later, dude.